But uh, I have to ask, though, and this will be the, the last one before I let you get on to your yogurt. Um, with Anthony, and personally, I love the guy, so I'm not trying to trick you into talking any shit. Uh, what's it like for you doing a show uh, or do like interacting with him, knowing that he has so many intense critics and fucking haters out there who will really go out of the way to be like, he fucks kids, he fucking shoots people, he beats women, all this stuff. I mean, the idea always is, can you separate the art and the artist? You know, did you stop listening to Michael Jackson because you found out maybe he was involved with children? I don't know if he was or not, but let's just say. Or did you stop liking a comic because he did something that you found offensive in his real life? I have no problem separating art and artist as, as an artist. I don't think there's to me. And I told him this when I first met him five years, six years ago, O and a was the only show in my life, a lifelong Howard Stern fan too, you know, but it was the only show in my life where there was a time where I sat in my car and waited for a bit to end, you know, never happened once, but that one time I've never done that for anybody else ever back when you couldn't leave, you know, now podcasting, there's no reason hit pause, but on a live radio show, I waited for a bit to end in the car. I was just sitting there waiting. I got to hear how this turns out. Never did that any other time. You know, I was actually the first whip them out Wednesday phone call when they <laughs> went to New York City, when they were opened on 1027 WNEW. I was their first call. I lied. I said I would just got uh, wowed because I was promoting a, con uh, a rock concert that I was hosting that night. So I wanted to get the free publicity. So I, I said, oh my God, I just got wowed. I got to tell these guys. The band. I said, hey, I'm on my way. It was an, an, an 80s rock band called Enough's Enough. I'm on my way to the Enough's Enough concert in blah, 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 wherever the fuck, in Jersey. And I just got fucking wild. So I was able to like promote the show. I lied, but I got on the air. You know, so that's, that goes back to how much I was, I was a fan of theirs. I think he's brilliant. I, I'm doing a show next week. You know, I've, I've been on many times. I am not at the popularity level of, say, Jay, where Jay might get blowback if he went on the network to do the show. I don't know if he would, but... He's got 100,000 Instagram followers. I got 10,000, you know, so I'm not going to get, I don't have the, the eyes on me like he does. So I can do things that maybe he would want to do if he wasn't, uh, he knew there would be some blowback. So me, I don't care. I'll go anywhere that'll book me. I'm on this show for God's sakes. Yeah. And uh, for the record, uh, Jay will be the third guest on the third episode of the yogurt show.